Hey, 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 what's up guys? It's your girl, Synovia. I'm back again with yet another mini haul and unboxing. You already know, still celebrating the 200K celebration. If this is your first time here, I hope that you stick around, comment, like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. If you're part of my notification game, welcome back. Hey girl, hey, I'm gonna jump right into it. Um, I actually wasn't even gonna do a video today because I just got back in town from Charleston. It's Father's Day, depending on when you guys catch this. Probably won't upload until tomorrow, but for all the dads out there, happy Father's Day. Um, we, I guess I wasn't supposed to shop for myself, but hubby got a few things. Of course, I grabbed a few things also, but we're just gonna do the haul of what I got. So, did a little, mm hmm, stop by Sephora and grab three items. I swear, you don't have to get a whole lot of stuff from Sephora for that tab to add up like really, really quick. But I got some things that I wanted to try. Um, I've been hearing great things about the Tarte uh, Poreless Mattifying Primer. And this is what it looks like here. I actually tried some on the back of my hand, this, and I think it's the, the blur primer that they have i was torn between the two and the lady was telling me if i wanted something that was going to mattify it a bit more go with this one here because you could probably tell now like my makeup is kind of set into the skin and worn like i've had this on all day it is now nearly 7 p.m and i've been face done since about 8 39 this morning so i haven't touched up or anything excuse the blah look <laughs> but yeah so like I said, I've been wanting to try this. It is actually one fluid ounce. And I want to say, I got it from Sephora. It was $32 from Sephora. And this is what, it, again, what it looks like here. So it's a decent amount. Let me see. I have talked about my favorite primers before. And my top two favorites are the Becca Primer and the Makeup Forever Step 1 Primer. Um, so again, I'm excited to try this and just see how it does. I've heard great things about this Tarte primer, so we will see. I'll do a review or whatever and let you guys know my thoughts and reviews. Also, I've been needing a new translucent, or not even translucent, but like a setting, not even a setting powder. I got the Laura Mercier Shine Control Press Setting Powder. So something just to keep into my purse. Um, I have the Laura Mercier, I think it's... I don't know if it's deep dark or medium dark, um, the loose powder, I have that, but I needed something to keep in my cosmetic bag, you know, in my purse when I'm on the go because, again, all of you oily girls out there, if you have found something that keeps you less oily throughout the day, please let us just know because that's still a battle of mine. Um, from my skincare regimen to my primers to the type of foundations that I use, I'm still needing to blot or do things throughout the day, especially when I'm hot. And today was one of those days where it was nearly 100 degrees, so which is why I'm looking the way I'm looking again. Just excuse it. I might as well have just did a raw, uh, bare look for you guys because that's what it feels like right now. But again, here's the Laura Mercier Shine Control Powder, and this is what it looks like here. I tried some on the back of my hand, or kind of rubbed it across my hand and storing it. Seemed like it was pretty good, but you know, the true test is actually using it. So I'm excited to see what it looks like. But it, I guess this is their signature look here. Let me see, and just so I don't blind you guys, it does come with its own little applicator sponge. And a lot of companies are doing away with the applicators we need the applicators. I mean, because if you buy universal ones, they don't always fit for the size of the compact. So this one did come with one. Although I do hate when, once you use it a few times, I don't like to clean them. I like to just replace them because I feel like it still holds bacteria in it. But this is what it looks like here. Just a regular translucent um, setting powder, but it's supposed to be shine control. So. If you guys have used this and you have thoughts or reviews or any feedback, I would love to know. In the meantime, I'll be giving it a try just to see how it works um, for this skin of mine. I have, and I've talked about this, the Milk, I think it's a blur stick that you can use. I, I believe it's a primer, but I got the little trial size and I fell in love with it and I have been wanting to try the blur spray. 
So I finally got my hands on one. And anything that has like white with this uh, ring light doesn't pick up too well. So I did try some in the store because I was actually like oily as crap when I went in the store. I um, tried some in the store. It felt really good on my face. It could have just been because I was hot and it felt like it was hydrating my face. But it felt good and it did mattify me out. Um, again, I've been in the sun so uh, don't pay attention to what I got going on now. So I'm excited to try this. It's kind of taped across the top so it's I can't really or can I? Okay. Let's see if the camera's going to pick this up. Nope, it doesn't, but it's, this is what it looks like. The top is like the size of the bottle itself. And here is a little spray bottle. Um, so yeah, it's the milk makeup. I'm excited to try it. I hate that the camera's not picking it up, but this was, and I'm sorry, the Laura Mercier was actually uh, $38 and the milk blur spray was $28. And again, I purchased all three of these items from Sephora. So I'll be doing a review, my thoughts, uh, first impressions, that type of stuff, and let you guys know how I feel about these goodies. Okay, so y'all know I can't go shopping without stopping at my favorite store. <laughs> so I went to my, of course, my other favorite store, Louis Vuitton. Of course, I know you guys are like, you've done like 50 unboxings for this. <laughs> um. So, okay, you can probably tell just by this box here what this item is. But here is the first box. And it's one of those drawer boxes again. Ah! <laughs> okay, so I'm, I've been buying Louis long enough. Uh, usually they give you the long envelopes and the receipt looks like it's on stock paper or whatever. It's kind of thick and you know it looks quality especially for what you pay for their items they got this new system now and now this is what the envelopes look like they're no longer the long ones and they have just regular let's just show you something it's just like regular department store type receipt like i gotta turn the opposite way so you guys don't see my information but i just feel like for what we're paying for like why did you guys take away that thick quality style paper and give i don't know maybe it's because i've gotten spoiled with that but in my opinion this just looks like i went like to macy's or dillard's or something and y'all printed off a little register receipt so um the gentleman that helped me actually had two one was justin so shout out to justin and the other one was i think his name is claim he said he was only like uh two weeks in i didn't go to my regular louis vuitton in charlotte to see lillian so I, I was in Charleston. I don't have a, a, a regular essay there, so I just usually let who's ever there help me. Um, and I ended up with these two gentlemen, but they did take really good care of me. So again, this is what the box looks like here, and it's the drawer pull. And I don't have to take the ribbon off because, as you can see, it comes from here. You get your two dust bags. Of course, I do love that Louis Vuitton does give you dust bags for when you buy one is upside down when you buy their um or i got both of them upside down now fix it jesus <laughs> they give you i guess this is a little care booklet and you also get they always give from what i've seen an extra pair of shoelaces and it comes in a little envelope like this here um so we'll see if it has the name of what these shoes are called because i've seen them i think he said they've only been out for like three weeks now um, these are the front row sneakers. Yeah, I've seen them all over the gram. I've seen them on YouTube. I was actually surprised that I looked up on a pair. But they had them, I tried them on, and I've fallen in love with them. I have so many pair of Louis shoes, but I like how these are a little more subtle. But this is what they look like here. Oh, oh my gosh, look at how that's picking up. Like, that is just bay. So it's basically a white sneaker. It has blush pink, like right back here on the back. I see the camera isn't really picking that up too well. And then across the top, it's looking like a strictly white, but it's like a really soft pink on the top. And like I said, the camera's not picking that up too well. But, and then it has the Louis Vuitton here in gold. Is that gonna pick up? No, that freaking ring light. Death to the ring light, let me see. Let me see if I turn it down some. 
if it'll pick up. Okay, well, I'm not gonna leave it off because now I just look like Smokey the Bandit back here, but that is a better picture of what the shoes look like. Oh my gosh, yeah. Now the camera's doing justice. That's exactly the color they're picking up on a monitor. And it's basically a regular sneaker, but it has the Velcro across the top. So you cannot remove this. It doesn't come off as stitched in, but again, it just, like I said, it's a more, let me tuck that in. It's more of a subtle look because the other sneakers I have are like all monogram. Let me take the other pair out. They're all monogram. And they're really cute, but they're just like really flashy and in your face. So this is what they look like here. Here's the side view. You can see the Louis Vuitton on it. Here is the back view here. Remember I said it has pink. My ring light was not picking that up. And this is what the soles look like, the bottom. Has the LV on there. But these are like so freaking cute. Like again, it's it's so much more subtle. And I feel like it can be definitely be a year-round shoe. It has the LV on there. I forget what he said this was for with the horizontal. Um, I don't know if he said something about the world tour edition of why they're like focusing on the horizontal look, but I just I think that's really cute. I like that a whole lot. And for those of you who don't know, I'm a sucker for monogram and pink is my absolute favorite color. It doesn't even really matter what shade of pink it is. So this blush pink, I'm here for it. I am freaking here for it. Hands down, Louis Vuitton, y'all did that. So again, that is called the front row sneaker. Um, and you see how once that ring light is on, it literally washed out that pink. But yes, so let me put those to the side so you guys can see the last item I got. This is the box here that it came in, one of these flat boxes. So there's a story to this. I actually wanted, there's another piece, and this is the magnetic box. I'm going to have to remove the ribbon. There is a magnetic piece, um, magnetic piece, fix it, Jesus. There is another piece that I wanted, and it's actually for, it's like travel, I think it's called the Voyager Voyage or something, but it's really, really hard to find. Anywho, when I say hard to find, very hard to find, but I was able to get more detail about it in the store today, and it's actually for like your iPad or your laptop, but it's strictly for that. Like you could not get multi-purpose use out of it, in my opinion. So he brought this one out, and I had seen this on the site, but this was my first time seeing it in person. Again, it's one of the magnetic boxes comes with your regular Louis Vuitton dust bag. I'll take that out. So this is what the dust bag looks like here. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking pretty. And I think this is meant to be used as a clutch, but for what I want it for, I could get a lot of use out of it. Comes in different colors. Monogram, of course, is what I went after. Um, I don't think this comes in any other canvas prints, but the leather here comes in different colors. Um, it comes in black. It comes in like a coral peachy look and it comes in like a blush pink similar to what the shoes were. I was going to get that but I also felt like it almost looked like it was only for spring or summer and this color here was just more subtle with it. Um, this is what the inside looks like here. It's, I guess it's just like microfiber or suede or whatever but this is what the inside looks like here has the lining here's the pocket here and of course a little textile card that normally comes with it but let me tell you why i got this they used to have ipad covers before but they've stopped and now just the salesmen the essays have them so i wanted something you guys know i have the ipad and i was keeping it in just one of my little amazon cases that i got you know just the usual but look at this here so it's up here, put this in here, drop it on in like that's everything. Zip it up, has a cute pull tab so I can even fit. And if you guys saw my review, I have the Apple Pencil as well. So with that pouch that they have in the back, I can put the Apple Pencil back there. I can put the charger in there. And if you guys see like there is still plenty 
of room, like lots of room. So it's serving its purpose for what I want it for to put my iPad in here. But also, I mean, just, I don't have an actual clutch. Usually I use like my toiletries or my cosmetic bags for clutches. So I'm excited that this piece here, if I choose to go out, you know, one night and want something cute, I can actually use this as a clutch. Um, I'm just, I am so here for this. This I am excited about. Oh my goodness. Um, it says Louis Vuitton Paris. I don't know if you guys can tell, like right, right up here. And again, the light isn't going to let me be great. But it's very plush and pliable. Of course, I have a screen protector on my um, iPad, but this will definitely keep it protected. And this is still small enough for me to whether I travel with this or throw this inside of my purse, like my graceful, my delightful, my never full, my speedy, my Givenchy. Um, of course, it's too big for like my favorites and my crossbodies, but normally I carry my bigger bags anyway. And even if I'm not and I'm carrying something small, I can still have this for work, for business, you know. Um, again, so my laptop won't fit in here of course now the other one that i was looking for the laptop will fit in that one is bigger than this but it doesn't have like this look to it and then it kind of zips here and then zips here and it looks like it just opens completely up but this i just felt like again had more of a multi-purpose use to it i just feel like i could get more use out of this and i mean it's freaking cute to look like again i'm carrying this as a clutch but who would know like this is my case for my ipad and i take my ipad everywhere with me because that's how i work my business if i'm not doing it from my smartphone if you guys saw my last video this was one of the gifts that i got from my team um i got the folio ipad case i am loving this case here and that hot pink i mean come on now so yeah, I am loving this. I mean, and again, if I was carrying this as a purse, I could put it in there, but y'all see, I'm a sucker for monogram. Um, yeah, so I am really, 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 really excited about this piece. Well, thanks again, folks. <laughs> that is everything that I had today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, if you have any of those uh, products that I show from Sephora, let me know your thoughts and reviews. If you guys have the sneakers, let me know about them. If you guys were looking for something for your iPad, and this is the iPad Pro. Don't quote me on the actual size of it. It's not the really big one, but it's not the mini. Um, if I can remember, I'll put specs in the, um, in the box below. But yeah, this is what my goodies were, my little mini haul today. Thank you again for watching. You guys have a fantabulous day. And I will see you guys on the next video. Mwah.